what's going on YouTube you guys just don't seem to get tired of wanting to learn this knowledge all right so I covered this a little bit in pieces in other videos uh, so this is gonna be kind of a short and sweet one or at least I'm gonna try um, right to travel what is it okay if you look up Supreme Court cases okay on Google just Google it uh, right to travel you will find that there have been cases won by the Supreme Court, which is the ultimate law in the land. Not your little judge, magistrate, or whatever down the block. Not Mr. Officer who thinks he knows everything. Um, no offense to the good officers out there. Um, but that being said, I'm going to take the time. We appreciate you and continue to support us. Um, make the hard call. Keep your partners in check when they overstep. Um, you know, we, 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 we see you out there, okay? All right, so back to right to travel. Uh, there's tons of cases that have been won by them, uh, by the people, we the people, uh, the actual sovereign people of the land. But the mistake people make is that they don't realize, and most of these cops don't realize either, a lot of their CEOs or commanding officers do, but the new ones, the rookies, a lot of them don't. And the problem is, is because the average person is walking two different jurisdictions, okay? That's where the confusion comes in. That's where when people are like, oh, I'm a sovereign American, there's no such thing as a sovereign American at all. It's not on the paper. It's not on the books. What you mean is you are a U.S. national. That's what's on the books. You mean you're a state citizen. That's what's on the books. Uh, you could be a foreign national. That's what's on the books. Okay. In the old days, if you look up right to travel, it will say, you know, this American, you know, who has all sovereign abilities or a sovereign American, blah, blah, blah. They use that term, but it's that's the old term and it's not on the books it was never really put on the books it was just something said because they didn't think they had to tell people it's like telling a king hey king do you know that you're a king king no okay so they have officially designated as u.s national not nationalists or nationalism or any other stuff u.s nationals what they call people who are state citizens born in your state you are a citizen of the state that you were born in and you're a citizen of the several states therein okay you can have your, um, you can pledge your allegiance to any state, any state around the world. Now, some will recognize you as their citizen, some won't. Okay, just because, just because I, I want to say I'm a citizen of Canada and I pledge my allegiance to them, doesn't exactly make me a citizen. It means I pledge to be, and I can go through the process, but I'm not. But here in the United States of America Republic, if you want to claim your citizenship to Colorado, Wisconsin, um, if, if there's a if it's a state which is synonymous with the word country you can pledge to it okay so looking up these Supreme Court cases it will clearly tell you that these Americans are exercising their sovereign abilities to with right to travel so what right to travel is is that if you are declaring yourself properly to be underneath the private jurisdiction as a US national or state citizen okay then you can utilize your vehicle with the proper identification the proper plates on there even though you have the right to not have a plate they're gonna f with you so you have to have a private plate whether you make it or you get one from me or whatever else however you want to do it is fine even though i don't really exactly issue plates and i wouldn't but you can copy mine You can travel as long as your vehicle is paid off. You don't, you're not using a driver's license. You're not saying you reside in their state. Okay. Um, you don't have a registration. Okay. All of these things, your plates are removed. All of these things have to be in place before you can write to travel or travel privately. If you don't do all of those things in the proper way, you will still have one arm foot toe or whatever you have in their jurisdiction and that's how they can bust you now they cops and whatever else are on the federal side the commercial side the public side they are u.s citizens they are federal employees we all have that well i don't anymore but some most of you guys out there have that that whole side if you have a foot in there now you don't have to get rid of all that to exercise that you just have to make sure there's a clear separation if you go in your vehicle and you have all those things still in play, you're on the public side. 
you don't have those things, you're on the private side. When you go to vote, now you're on, uh, especially for federal elections, okay? That's the public side. You go into a federal building with a state-issued ID or your driver's license, that's the federal side. And also, I'm not going to say any names, but I want to thank the um, TSA agent, the other federal agents who have come forward quietly and anonymously and, um, well, not to me, but, you know, I have to do it for their, you know, safety and protection, and told that this is factual. Um, they have said, these are the, almost everything in the video, they, these videos, they were like, yes, that's true. My partner does this, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, uh, there's a public side, there's a private side, there are different jurisdictions. See, they don't, the other people out there, they don't want you to know that there's separate jurisdictions. Everything starts, you're, you're, you coming into this world starts with which jurisdiction claim your land. You know, like even on the north side, you know, people be like, you know, uh, throwing up the, the forks or throwing down or claiming this or claiming that. Which jurisdiction are you in? Where do you put your loyalty? Where do you claim? Okay. You ever, you, you ever stop to think why we no longer have the Pledge of Allegiance of America in the classrooms? Because there are multiple jurisdictions. When you pledge allegiance to the United States of America, that's the republic as a free state person. That's not the United States citizenship. They are different things. Look it up if you don't believe me. I don't care if you believe me or not. I already know. I'm already living in the private. I've had people confirm, yes, you're you're almost 100% in the private. I keep some stuff. Um, gone to court. One. Done all these other things. One. You know why? Because you have to know how to step through them. And for the love of God, I'm going to reiterate this. Love you guys all. There's only a couple of you guys who do this. I am not the get out of jail card free guy. I am not going to step you on how to get out of your cases or your things. I provide information. You have to do the work. There's no silver bullet to this. You can't say, oh, I bought a sheet of paper from this guy or whoever, even me, and say, uh, I don't have to do this. Now, there are ways to get out of it. There are ways to prove your jurisdiction. If you watch the videos, you have to use them and do your own research. It's your life you're fighting for, okay? I've already done my fight, okay? Live the tale of tale, and I'm sharing these experiences with you. So don't hit me up saying, well... Me and uh, Mookie and them got in some trouble, so now I got this case, you know, I, got, I had a pistol on me, I got, can you, can you send me a, the, no, I don't have the time, and I'm not going to, and I, and, and even if I were, I'd have to charge you so much, you, you might as well just get a, a lawyer, or whatever, but, do it for yourself, take the information, do the research, just like I did, I'm here to show you that there is a path, there's, there is light there, but I'm not going to walk you all the way down, okay, Anybody who does is probably going to charge you and may not be have all, and you might lose all your money with somebody who isn't going to exactly walk you all the way down through or specifically for your case. Okay. That's a lot of work and research they have to do to defend you. My channel and information is always, always, always about prevention. So once you get out of your situation, pay that fine, pay that fee, do whatever you got to do. Once you're out, live this way. Okay. But what I will say, educational-wise, is that a lot of people who have done this, especially um, declaring their already in existence status of U.S. national, a lot of things have gone away because they update your information with your name. And I know this goes against certain people. Um, your social, especially when you put it on your DS-11 or your, um, your application for passport, I'm not going to say what, because individual results may vary, and this is educational. All right, so that being said, that's right to travel. You have the right. When you apply for a driver's license, you are contracting. You are agreeing to be held underneath their jurisdiction federally. That's why your name is in all capitalized letters, okay? Yeah, go, yeah, go ahead, check, pull your ID out. I, I got time. Um, but it's considered commercial. The state of Wisconsin has purposefully, they have everything on there from the definition of license to motor vehicle, all those things on there, but they don't have the keyword which ties it all in, which is driver. Because if they had the word driver on there, yeah, that's what I do. I go, th I have read through the statutes of our law and constitution for this state. I suggest you do the same. You probably won't. That's okay. You should and found that they don't have the definition of the word driver on there because it means commercial. Black's Law's Dictionary, which is where all of these institutions operate under legally, 
because they have to they have to have certain lines that are universal across so that they're all on the same page so do me a favor go and check and see if your uh your state has the word driver defined on there because if they do it means it's commercial and if it does that means basically anything that you've done that you weren't doing commercially you can contest because the word driver if you look up in black laws dictionary it means commercial for pay for profit transporting of goods for pay okay so if you're a driver even if it's you're driving people like let's say you're doing uber then yes you need a driver's license because you're driving people for money for profit but majority of us who are just going to the grocery store or whatever else our normal ins and outs work we're not doing that for profit with our vehicle we're going to get profit but while we're in our car we're not transporting goods or people for pay if you do that that's commercial then you have the proper driver's license a cdl proper driver's license you have to be trained in, in how to do that and yes even though i've answered this question before you can have you can be a cdl operator or license holder and be a u.s national you know why because you're already doing it now you were born a u.s national if you were born in any of these 50 states okay so we do have the right to travel it is a real thing um but it has to be done in the right way i made other videos on it a little bit more in, in depth this is just to kind of get it out there for those people who are kind of already up to speed and are curious about it it is a real thing you can look up the case laws i also uh, have that paperwork if you order it from me of course i'm going to charge you for it but you can look it up and there's other people where you can get it free all right so just go and get it free you know saves you time uh and money obviously so uh that back up these cases and uh support i have a copy of them in my car in case you know an officer wants to see this these are supreme court rulings they're down here at low level stuff statutes and quasi law magistrate judge supreme court law which is the law of the land up here for u.s nationals and all across the board we the people is up here but in order to exercise your right you have to do it in the right way so that's about it guys so right to travel is a real thing look it up for yourself um, get the paperwork put it in your vehicle do all the steps bop, 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 i've talked about in order to do it the right way because if you have your passport done as a u.s national the correct way which to do that that information is down below you can get it from me um, or else go to the U, my YouTube main page and in about the about section. It'll have all the information in there, how to contact, how to buy any of the files or whatever that's available, your choice, um, and commence with that. But if you have the passport card and your vehicle is still in their jurisdiction, you're part of the way out. Now the officer has a judgment call depending on what you've done. But if your vehicle still has those plates, the registration, it's not paid off. That's like, that's like being a, a partial slave. You can't expect, you can't like, be like, well, I'm not a slave anymore when you're still wearing slave chains and slave uniforms on or whatever else, just because you, now you're starting to think freely. You're just the smartest slave on the plantation. That's how they're looking at you. But have people have had successful results? Yeah, there's plenty of good cops out there who know exactly what it is. And as long as you're not harming anybody by by law, uh, you're not pulled into their jurisdiction. Okay, so most of the stuff is just tickets and they'll let you go. Plenty of people have been let go. Um, but the ones who are successfully out of the system are the ones who have done it the proper way. But even as a U.S. national, okay, if you pull yourself into their jurisdiction by doing crime or harming a U.S. citizen, okay? U.S. citizen is their property. So they're a federal employee. You've done harm to a federal employee, even as a U.S. national. If you do that to them or you endanger them or whatever else, you can be pulled into their jurisdiction and now you are subject to all the statutes, laws, rules, and regulations just like one of them. You can fight it and you can try to pull yourself out, okay? But that has to be done carefully, all right? And, and precisely. And it still may not take effect if you don't know how to do the right things at the right times. But if you've hurt somebody or done significant damage, you still have to pay because you've damaged the United States property. That person, that property, physical place is what it is. So be smart, be wise, know the differences, know which jurisdiction, walk both jurisdictions. You just have to be able to, dis uh, to differentiate where and who you are when you're doing things. That's the whole thing.
You can be all federal, you can be all uh, private, or you can be both. You can lean a little right, lean a little left. You can jump back and forth. You just need to know about them. So thanks, guys. I appreciate your time. Appreciate your attention. Um, don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe on the way out. Check out the offers down there on discounts and whatever else. Um, products that uh, I provide and, and sell and drop ship. Uh, they all help support me and this channel. Like I said, don't make any money off of the revenue on the, on the YouTube. Uh, so I take time out of my day to make these videos for you guys. I enjoy it. And I also enjoy it if you guys have time to donate. If you can't, then at least spread the word. Either way, as they say, hook a brother up. Talk to you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay healthy. Bad Wolf over and out.